Good morning. So we are leaving uh, City of Rocks right now, heading up to Silver City. Hopefully, uh, top off fuel, get a little uh, food as well, uh, and then I want to head up to the uh, cliff dwellings. Uh, so that's going to be another hour and a half drive from Silver City. So that's the plan for today. Hopefully, we'll get some good photos up at the cliff dwellings. And We'll see what we can see on the way. All right. So what I wanted to show here is the drive up to the uh, cliff dwellings through the Hilla wilderness area. You kind of go from high desert and then you get into some really thick pine trees. Um, it's just a lush forest and it's really kind of bittersweet coming from Colorado and all the pine kill that we see. Uh, to go through a, a beautiful living forest here. So it, it was just awesome to see and really a stunning drive. Then as we kind of climb further and further up into the mountains of the wilderness area here, you start seeing the vistas and the views come up. And uh, I apologize for the big bug on the screen. I did clean the windshield right before uh, I went up. And of course, first thing I hit was a big old bug right there. So that's not a UFO, don't worry. But as you can see, just absolutely beautiful scenery and an amazing trip up to the Hilo Wilderness Cliff Dwellings. So this is the entryway up into the Cliff Dwellings. You have to hike up about a mile round trip up a very steep but beautiful canyon to get up to these uh, cliffs and it's just amazing what they've done here and just the thought that this was created seven to eight hundred years ago can be pretty mind-boggling so we are coming up to the main entrance here there are some other people um, I decided not to narrate this as I was filming and out of respect for the other people so they can enjoy the experience. For the most part, everybody was pretty hushed as they were looking around, but there was a family in front of us and you could hear the kids screaming and <laughs> squealing as they went around corners and whatnot. So I did take the audio out and decide to voice over this. Um, I just couldn't get over the view they had outside these cliffs. Just amazing. And it was, of course, a perfect, perfect December day to be up here. Uh, as you can see, not a cloud in the sky. Just some amazing views. And as the guide told us as we started hiking up here, because uh, we had to wait as a small group and go together, but we all kind of spread out once we got up here, but he was telling us about this is the only cliff dwellings you can actually get into, walk around, touch, and enjoy. So that was pretty amazing to be able to be up here and see what is happening with this as it ages and weather affects it but it is just amazing entering the main room here and you can see out a room with a view so to speak but uh, you can see the ceiling is stained with all the campfires that were up here uh, and some walls are still standing where they had this broken up into different rooms a lot of the uh, walls are obviously in disrepair and have fallen, but it's just amazing to think of what they accomplished and made a little home out here.
This was very surreal just to be walking in the steps of that people have walked in so many years ago and seeing what I assume they saw when they looked out their windows. I'm really glad I came up and did this. It was about a two hour drive to get uh, fully up there, but it was totally worth it. All right, been a beautiful drive up here. Just amazing views the whole way. And just an absolutely perfect day to be out here. Things are finally starting to go my way a little bit as far as the weather and locations. So very cool. So this is the campsite that I had while I was here at City of Rocks and I became obsessed with that boulder balancing up there. It's just huge and you can see this barely hanging up there. Now this has the moon behind it there. And I did see some birds. Most of them wouldn't come out until darkness or twilight. But uh, this is one-eyed Jack. He lost an eye somewhere along the way here. And then he had a bunch of friends that would come down. They were the more inquisitive birds. Also had this lovely visitor who kept screaming questions at me all morning. And so I finally got up and took a picture of him. Of course, he's on my favorite rock, but he flew off. All right, hello. Coming at you from uh, City of Rocks State Park in New Mexico. I've been here for going on a week now. Um, I was only planning on staying here a couple of days, but it is such a pretty area. And there's a lot of really interesting things to explore near it. So we've decided to stay a little longer. Hopefully the wind won't be too bad right now. We've got a cold front blowing in this afternoon, so the wind's supposed to pick up pretty dramatically. And I'm not too excited about that. As a matter of fact, that's the number one downside I've had out here so far is the wind. Makes for really tough sleeping situations tough filming situations and just tough relaxing situations so not really looking forward to this afternoon I left myself some stuff to do inside the trailer today so once the wind does pick up that's where I'm gonna be right now we're uh, taking advantage of the good weather and hiking one of the many hikes that are around the City Rocks uh, State Park here. Uh, it's been a fabulous little treat. So we're going to be walking up to a bluff here. Hopefully some good views. But uh, we've been getting a couple hikes in every day, which has been great. Uh, where's Miss Maggie down? So she's not quite as annoying all day. Um, she's actually been doing really well on the trip. We had the one incident of her eating something that made her very sick uh, but after that we've been doing really well so I've had a few surprises on the trip and I'll probably go into a couple of those on this hike as we move along alrighty so we're at the top of this point here I think you can see the campground behind me there's a whole bunch of rock formations that are really cool. And I'm camped in the rock formations, not out on the edge there. We can see some uh, bigger campers. It's all the electric full service area. I'm back into the, the mountains there, rock formations, not mountains, but uh, really cool campsite. Uh, we're headed off to next, the top of this peak back here. So that is hopefully gonna be our our next stop a little windy up here so I'll feel more as I'm down in between and then we'll be back into the campsite here but just spectacular 360 views up here mountain peaks in the distance which is very nice very very nice 
Well, the wind's definitely picking up, so hopefully it's not too bad on this. I will uh, have to reshoot this segment <laughs> later if it doesn't sound that great. But another thing that's really surprised me on the trip so far is the amount of places I've stayed that are state campgrounds in New Mexico versus boondocking or dispersed camping. It's just been really nice knowing I've got a place to go. I can reserve the campsites. They do have some amenities. And I know that the site will be there when I get there. Where the research I'm doing on some of these dispersed campings, campsites, um, they're small. They may be taken up when I get there. But uh, either way, in Arizona, there's just less opportunities, I think, for the state campsites, so it might be more dispersed camping there. So, spoiler alert, the wind only got worse. I mean, much worse by the time I summited. It was blowing really, really strong. I wanted to show part of this climb here to the top of this ridge. kind of bit off more than I could chew on this hike. I told myself I'll just get up as far as I can before I kind of get tired and then I would turn around. But of course once you start climbing and you're on a trail, you definitely want to see what's at the top. So we started getting further and further up here. It just turned out to be an amazing hike with some great views. That little blob there in the center of the screen is actually the rock formations that the campsite is surrounded. So we've made a few miles to get this view, but again, totally worth it. And just an amazing little trail. And the views just went on and on. Of course, I needed to get some face time for the star of the show, Miss Maggie here. She really does enjoy these hikes. Most of the time she'll be in front of me, but if she starts getting tired, she'll lag a little behind and slobber on my calves to tell me that I need to hurry up. And probably that's the real point of this video is to show off those sexy calves there. But again, she really enjoyed this hike, and we were both pretty wore out by the end, though. Probably more so me than her. Every hiker will tell you the view is always worth the effort. You can seem to see miles and miles here in every direction. About six and a half miles, so we definitely got our steps in that day. But again, completely worth it. There's our
our campground. That's where we had to get back to, way out there in the distance. And then some more night photography. I'm trying my hand at a couple different things, including some what they call light painting. That didn't work out so great. Trustable light. Again, I just want to say thank you so much for watching.